The UFC is back in action on Saturday night. This weekend we are in China at the Venetian Macau for the Ultimate Fighter China finale. Now, the series hasn't aired yet in the United States, so you might be thinking, well, I can tune out. I can miss this one. Don't do that. There's some fantastic fights on this card, including the main event between John Hathaway and Dong Yun Kim. So let's take a closer look at this card as we get ready for this weekend's event. As usual, we'll start out with our lock of the week. And I've got to go with Hatsu Hayoki over Ivan Minchavar. Might be a little bit of a surprise to some. This is a fight between two very, very talented veterans. But with over 71 fights between them, this is a, a great matchup between veterans. But just one win in the past four fights for each of these two fighters. Both struggling, both needing a win. So why am I looking at Hatsu Hayoki as such a favorite here? Well, Minjavar moving up the featherweight for this fight. Not exactly sure why he's doing that at this point in his career. He's had a couple missed weights in the past, so I'm sure that's factoring into it. But I don't know if he's the right size for that weight class. Factor in the fact that on top of that, Ivan Minjavar has to make the travel over here to China. Hatsu Hayoki doesn't do that. And lastly, Hatsu Hayoki has lost to elite level wrestlers in his past couple of fights. That's not what Ivan Minjavar brings to the table. So I'm very excited for this fight, but I feel very confident saying Hatsu Aoki is going to walk away with the win. And how about a fight that's flying under the radar? Well, you can make the argument the entire card is flying under the radar a little bit, but for me, it's got to be Sean Jordan versus Matt Mitrion. Not hearing a lot of love for this fight, and I'm excited for it. It's a little bit of history. This is the first time heavyweights have fought in the UFC in China, so something a little unique there. But more than that, this is two athletic, fun, explosive heavyweights. Both former uh, football players, so they bring that athletic level of prowess to the table. But listen, Sean Jordan admitted to me, he said, look, this fight may even be a little bit sloppy, but I think it's going to be fun. These are two guys that are going to go out looking to bang, looking to finish the fight, looking to both rebound from disappointing losses. And I think they're going to want to come out and put on a show for the fans of China. So for me, that's one to watch. But how about our fight of the night? Well, for me, I'm looking at a bantamweight matchup between Vaughn Lee and Nam Fan. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Vaughn Lee. I think he's an intriguing character. He's an Englishman. Uh, he has a lot of respect for Asian culture and the martial arts history here. And I know he feels like it's a real honor to be here and fighting. I think he's going to bring a, a little bit extra level of excitement because of that. Then, of course, you got Nam Fan. He's very uh, proud of his Vietnamese heritage as well. And he's no stranger to the fight of the night bonuses as well. Both of these guys like the bang. Vaughn Lee told me he wants to stand in the pocket and bang. You know damn fans going to bang. So to me, I think these two bantamweights are going to go back and forth all night. That's my early candidate for fight of the night. But what's at stake in our featured fights? Well, we said right away, the Ultimate Fighter China finale. We really haven't had a chance to see that in the United States. So to be honest, i got to believe that most people aren't going to be extremely interested in that fight. And that's understandable. But to me, I'm very interested in the main event. Dong Young Kim, John Hathaway, a key fight at 170 pounds. Hathaway has had 17 months away from the sport while he's been dealing with some injuries and other issues. He had an impressive career run going before that layoff. Now he's looking to reestablish himself as a top fighter at 170 pounds. Meanwhile, Dong Young Kim is coming off the biggest win of his career where he just absolutely starched Eric Silva and kind of shocked the world there. He's on a three-fight win streak. He's riding a, a wave of confidence that we've never seen before. He told me that was a life-changing moment in his career. And I think he's ready to show the world that he's a legit contender at 170 pounds. With George St. Pierre stepping away from the sport, 170 pounds has never been more exciting. These two guys are both hoping to show that they belong in that top level of contendership. And a big, impressive win here will do it. So for me, if you're not interested in the finale, I can give you a pass on that one. But you got to want to pay attention to this main event. You can do it on UFC Fight Pass Saturday night. Stay tuned. We'll have full coverage of MMA Junkie and USA Today Sports all weekend long.